Hello everybody and welcome and in today's video we will be doing a simple little macro. Now for this macro I want to create views along my grid lines. If I select my grid lines I can right click head down to create view along grid lines. This will open up the menu where I can create the grid line views I want. Let's delete this. I'm going to close that up. To create a model macro open up the applications and components. Go to this little menu over here and say record macro. Global macro will be done inside of your environments folder so you'll have access to it on all of your models. Local means it's for this model only. So I'm going to grab local and say create views along grids. Okay so what I want to do is run the grid view command. So I'm going to say along grids and this is going to give me this opens up this menu. There's nothing over here I want to change. There's nothing I want to load here. So I'm just going to say create and then I'm going to close that menu. Now that I've got my views open, I've got my 3D, I think this is good enough. So let's stop the macro. If we search it for create, we'll see we've got a create views along grid. And if I run it, it'll basically just create another set of these for me. Unfortunately, it did not close this. I don't really like this command as is. I want it to be able to close that menu. So I'm going to copy this name, delete it. Let's just close that and start over. Go record global, put that name in, go here, go along grids, run that command again, create. This time I'm going to say OK and stop recording. If we head over here and we have a look, you'll see that aside from the push button, which is apply and create, we've also got the OK push button. And just that one extra step is all we need to get this to function the way we want it to. If I run this, it closes itself, leaving only the views open. I don't mind the views being open. Once I've created it, I like seeing the views because usually I want to use them. But you can even go and say create the views and then have this automatic close as well. It is really up to your preference. Now that that's been done, once I select a view, I can come over here and in here I can find create view along grid macro. Should be one of these create views along macros. There, I'm just going to add it, apply and OK. Now whenever I create a model, I can select my grid. And I can just hit that button and it'll give me all of my grid views. Right, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. See you all next time.